As millions of years pass, fish build on their basic design. The muscles around their backbone evolve into a powerful tail and fins appear. They evolve a distinct head. He may not look like you or I, but this odd fish is becoming the blueprint for our own bodies. Over millions of years, the fish's gills adapt to form the first jaw with the very first teeth. Now they're equipped to go on the attack. Some develop tougher bones and muscles in their fins and shoulders, which become the first limbs. This is where our arms and legs began. With this four-limbed design, our ancestors finally hauled themselves out of water onto land. They evolve a hard, waterproof casing which protects the young inside from the drying sun so they can be laid on land. Evolution takes over. Lacking restrictive armor means the reptiles can start to make it big. Their muscles and bones broaden and extend. Their bodies mushroom into huge new shapes and forms. Our distant ancestors have come a long way. They've now conquered the land. Their legs straighten and lengthen, holding them more upright and giving them speed. Their backbones and muscles get stronger, and they even start to look like mammals. To house a larger brain, their skull bones expand into an enormous head, and out of their jaws thrust huge, sharp teeth. A new age of specialist reptiles has dawned. As millions of years go by, the climate shifts again, and the reptiles are among the first to recover and repopulate the empty earth. From creatures like little Diictodon, larger, stronger herbivores evolve. These tough forerunners of mammals seem poised to seize control for good, but they are in fact set to play out their final scene. Our ancestors are reduced to small creatures hiding in the shadows. Their time will come. But for the next 170 million years, the world belongs to the dinosaurs.